Praise the Lord, children. My name is Abesika Mkama Jeremiah. I am nine years old. I go to Brighton Junior School and I'm in P3. And now we will have a lot of activities today, but before anything else, we will pray. Us together, oh Lord, bless us that we may have good times here. We thank you that we have been able to come here. We thank you that all of us we are here. We thank you that we are healthy. We thank you that you have provided for us. We thank you that we are having knowledge. May you grant us knowledge while we are going back to school. In Jesus' name, amen. Now we are going to welcome teacher Mary as she leads us in praise and worship. Hello children, good morning to you and praise the Lord. Welcome to this very episode of Impact Club where we are going to praise and worship the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now before we worship the Lord and praise him, let us invite Emma to give us a word of prayer. I Amen. Thank you so much for the word of prayer. Now, children, we know that God is good and He is good all the time. So we are going to sing for Him with smiles and happiness and joy because He's good. Amen. Amen. Let us clap for the Lord.
how we are going to surrender everything unto the Lord. Surrendering everything, our parents, our holidays, all unto the Lord. As we declare that He is indeed a mighty God that we serve. What a mighty God we serve.
who are all that matters in our lives. We thank you because you are good to us and that's why we say we shall put you in front of our melodies and we shall make room for two, you and I, Jesus. Thank you for this moment and thank you for this particular time that you have put us together. We pray all this in the name of Jesus Christ our Savior. From that session of praise and worship, we, we it's time for our lesson now. With and our lesson topic today is the Holy Spirit comes at Pentecost. We are going to welcome our friends Desire and Chloe to take us through. Let us clap for them as they come. Hello everyone, my name is Chloe. My name is Chloe Arita. I am in primary four. Today's topic is going to be the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Praise the Lord everyone. Good morning. My name is Ayer Desire and I'm in primary seven. But before we start our topic, let us first have ourselves and we pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for guiding us during the holidays, Almighty Father. Right now, we're going to go back to school, Lord Father. We pray that you protect us and guide us in every single step we take, in every decision we're going to make at school, Almighty Father. We pray that you be our protector and our guide, Lord Father. We pray that you protect us and keep us safe, us as well as the people who are not going to be going to school. Lord Father, we pray that you protect all of us, not only us as human beings, but also every single go living thing which is created by you. Just now, pray and believe. Amen. Today we are going to be reading at Acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 13. It says, When the day of Pentecost came, all the believers were gathered together in one place. Suddenly, there was a noise from the sky which sounded like a strong wind blowing and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then they saw what looked like tongues of fire which appeared out and touched each person there. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to talk in other languages, as the Spirit enabled them to speak. The, there were people living in Jerusalem, religious people who had come from every country in the world. When they had this night, a large crowd gathered. They were all excited because each one of them had the believer speaking in his or her language. In amazement and wonder, they exclaimed, These people who are talking like this are Galileans. How is it then that all of us hear them speaking in our own native languages? We are from, we are from Patheria, Medea, and Elam, from Mesopotamia. Judea and Cappadocia, from Pontus and Asia, from Phrygia, from Phrygia and Pamphylia, from Egypt and the regions of Lydia, Libya and near Cyrene. Some of us are from Rome, both Jews and Gentiles converted to Judaism and some of us are from Crete and Arabia. Yet all of us hear them speaking in our own language about the great things that God has done. Amazed and confused, they kept asking each other, what does this mean? But others made fun of the believers saying, these people are drunk. So from this, we learned that the Holy Spirit came at the day of Pentecost. But first of all, let's first define, what is Pentecost Day? Is it that the day when the Holy Spirit comes and then the whole disciples start speaking in tongues? No, it was in the Jewish calendar. Like It was a day when people gather together, they bring their best gifts, like offerings to the Lord to praise and worship His name. So from what Claire has read, we learned that the disciples, like believers, they were in one room and they were, what? They were all together. Then suddenly a noise from heaven came in sound of blowing wind. Then flames of fire came and spread in each one of the disciples. Then the disciples started speaking in different languages. Then from this, the disciples, like the Holy Spirit was enabling them to speak in those tongues. Now imagine, one early morning I wake up and I start speaking actually. Yet in 
all my life I have never been there or heard anyone speak it. It is because of the Holy Spirit. Now that is the same thing that happened with the disciples. They all gathered in one room. They all gathered in one room and sat together. Soon they had blowing winds that came and fire in the form of tongues spread through the room onto their heads, enabling them to speak in different languages, some which they have never even heard of. There were Jews living in Jerusalem, like they gathered from different countries in the world. They came together. Then in a so like they what they were together. Then in excitement they all wondered because each one of them had their language being spoken by the by the Jews. Then they asked themselves, Are these these are Galileans? How come we can hear them speaking in our own languages? Because some of them were from different they speak different language natives, others were from what from Egypt, others from Asia, others Syrian. Then yet they wonder that these people are speaking in their languages. What did this mean to them? They asked themselves. Some of them made fun of them saying that they were drunk, but no, they weren't drunk. So we learn that the Holy Spirit can do everything is possible for the Holy Spirit. Nothing is impossible. What I have learned today in this lesson is that God once God makes a promise to you, he shall not he will always fulfill it. And we learn that God, if he, when he makes a promise, he can fulfill it, yes. And there's nothing impossible. And the Holy Spirit, you must always remember that you must believe in God. Trust him as your personal Lord and Savior. Right now, I'm going to go back to school and hope that all of you, you're going to say, you're all going to be believers of God. How many of you have ever wondered why the Holy Spirit came to the disciples and not other people? Because they believed in God. They believe that he was their personal Lord and Savior. And that's the same thing with you. So as you go to school, don't just be like, take it as something which is not important. Because assuming now it was you, you were the disciple, then the Holy Spirit comes and you start speaking different languages. Wouldn't you be so excited and amazed? Yes, you would. Because the Holy Spirit goes to people who are believers. The believers. And it's not that only the Holy Spirit can only make you to speak in tongues. No. He can do many things. Confidence can give you wisdom, knowledge, confidence, understanding, everything. So just believe in the Lord.